Welcome to Legends of the NHL, a video series that celebrates the greatest hockey players of all time. The NHL has a storied history filled with unforgettable moments and iconic players who have left their mark on the game. From the early days of the original six to the modern era of expansion teams, the NHL has seen its fair share of legends. Join us as we explore the careers of these hockey greats, from their early beginnings to their most memorable moments on the ice. Get ready to relive the glory of the NHL's past and discover the stories of the players who became legends of the game. Today we will be looking at the life and career of Wendell Clark. A player known for his toughness, tenacity, and never-quit attitude. Now, Legends of the NHL with Wendell Clark. Wendell L. Clark Born on October 25, 1966, is a Canadian former professional hockey player who had an illustrious career spanning over 15 years. He played for six different teams in the National Hockey League, including the Toronto Maple Leafs, Quebec Nordiques, New York Islanders, Tampa Bay Lightning, Detroit Red Wings, and Chicago Blackhawks. Clark's career in the NHL started in 1985 and ended in 2000. Clark was chosen first overall in the 1985 NHL entry draft by the Toronto Maple Leafs. He was a star junior defenseman with the Saskatoon Blades of the Western Hockey League and was also a member of Canada's gold medal winning team at the 1985 World Junior Ice Hockey Championships. He was converted to a forward after he was drafted by the Maple Leafs, and he was known for his physical play and scoring prowess. Clark's 227 penalty minutes in his rookie season were the 1985-86 Toronto Maple Leafs team high, along with 34 goals which also led the team. After his rookie season, he was named to the NHL All-Rookie team and finished third in voting for the Calder Memorial Trophy. Clark suffered a serious back injury during a game against the Chicago Blackhawks in 1987 when he was cross-checked into the crossbar of his own goal. This injury hindered his progress as an elite NHL player, but he was a crowd favorite at Maple Leaf Gardens. Clark was named captain of the Maple Leafs for the 1991-92 season. During the 1992-93 season, Clark's second year as captain, the Leafs set team records in wins, 44, and points, 99, and also made the playoffs for the first time in three years. The Leafs had a memorable run to the Campbell Conference Finals, but they lost to the Los Angeles Kings, who were coached by Clark's cousin, Barry Melrose. Two career-defining moments happened in this series for Clark, his toe-to-toe -to -toe fight in Game 1 of the series with enforcer Marty McSorley in retribution for a big hit McSorley made on Leaf star Doug Gilmore, and his hat-trick in Game 6 of the seven-game series. Clark had a legendary series performance with 20 points, 10 goals and 10 assists, in his 21 games during the 93 playoffs. That series was probably the most excitement I saw around here, proclaimed Clark. It was the furthest the Leafs had advanced in a long time, the team was coming together at the right time and everybody was doing their jobs. Clark managed a career-high 46 goals in 64 games for the Leafs during the 1993-94 season, playing on a line with Dave Andrychuk and Doug Gilmore. In the playoffs, the Leafs made a second consecutive trip to the conference finals but fell 4-1 to the Vancouver Canucks, who were coached by future Leafs coach Pat Quinn. In June 1994, with his value at an all-time high, Clark was traded to the Quebec Nordiques in a multiplayer deal that notably involved a young Matt Sundin. He was succeeded as Maple Leafs captain by Gilmore. Clark played the lockout-shortened 1994-95 NHL season in Quebec. After the Nordiques became the Colorado Avalanche, Clark became embroiled in a contract dispute with the team. As a result, shortly before the beginning of the 1995-96 campaign, he was sent to the New York Islanders in a three-way trade that brought Claude Lemieux to Colorado and Steve Thomas to the New Jersey Devils. Clark played 58 games with the Islanders but finished the season back in Toronto. Clark signed as a free agent with the Tampa Bay Lightning in the offseason, and played one season with the team before retiring in 2000. Over the course of his career, Clark played in 1,231 regular season games and scored 330 goals and 234 assists for 564 points. 
He also played in 95 playoff games, scoring 32 goals and 35 assists for 67 points. After retiring from playing, Clark worked as a scout for the Toronto Maple Leafs and eventually became the team's in 2010. He held the position until 2014 and was then named a senior advisor to the team. In 2019, Clark was inducted into the Hockey Hall of Fame. Throughout his career, Clark was known for his physical play, leadership, and ability to score goals. He was a fan favorite in Toronto and was often referred to as Captain Crunch for his hard-hitting style of play. Despite being known for his toughness on the ice, Clark was also a skilled player who had a knack for scoring timely goals. His contributions to the game of hockey have earned him a place among the sport's all-time greats. This concludes today's episode of Legends of the NHL. Let us know in the comments who you would like to see us cover next. Be exceptional. Thanks for watching.